Here's how to use an auto clicker on your iPhone. Now, if you're playing a game and you want it to sequentially tap in one certain spot over and over and over, but maybe it's tiring for your finger to keep tapping it, you can always turn on an auto clicker or an auto tapper. So let's hop into our settings to show you how to do that. We'll scroll down and we'll tap on accessibility. And then on here, we will tap on switch control in the middle. Now under switches, we will tap on that and you can see it's currently has zero. So we'll add a new one. So hit add new switch and we'll tap screen, full screen. And then under system, we will just choose tap. So basically what we want it to do is just tap. So go back here and then I'm going to go to recipes and create new recipe. Now you can name this like auto clicker and hit assign a switch and then full screen and then we want to choose a custom gesture now this is where you can basically choose where you want to tap it and how many times you want to tap it so say i just want to tap it all over like anywhere in the middle of the screen now that i've done that i can hit save at the top right and basically this is good to go i've named it auto clicker i can go back here under launch recipe at the very bottom, I can tap on that and we want to choose auto clicker here. So now I've set everything up. We just need to make it go. So let's go back here and go back again and we'll scroll to the very bottom and we want to choose accessibility shortcut. So go there and at the very bottom, you can see switch control. That is what you'll want to toggle on. And now at the very top, it says configure and then triple click the side button to access these. So now if I triple click that side button, it pops up with the auto clicker recipe. And all I have to do is tap my phone and you can see that it automatically taps everywhere that I wanted it to tap. I created that custom gesture. So this works in any different app. It works anywhere in your iPhone, any game. Basically you just tap once and it will click a ton of different times. And you can just keep doing that basically an infinity amount of times. So it's a really cool way to be able to um, turn that on and have an auto clicker. If you wanted to turn it off, as you saw, I just triple clicked that side button again to turn that off. And whenever you need it, just triple click that side button again. Hope this helps. If you have any questions on that, leave them in the comments down below and I'll catch you on the next one.